Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the Chelsea T. Fresnel Show, where we celebrate, motivate, and decorate. We celebrate family, friends, and faith. We motivate you to take your dreams out of your mind and make them into a reality, and we decorate. We'll transform your space into a spectacular place, and we have a passion for fashion where looking good is on purpose. Welcome to Authentic Living. I'm your host, Pastor Chelsea T. Purnell. I told you on Tuesday when we did our shout out announcement that I had some special guests that will be in the house today. And I am so excited to introduce the guest that's here today. I have my mother who's here all the way from Macon, Georgia. Tina Denard, affectionately called Duchess. Welcome to the show, Duchess. Thank you, thank you. All right, and we also have my two lovely aunts. We have Ruthie Yarbrough, who's here. And we have my Aunt Gladys Aaron, who's also here. Welcome to the show, Auntie. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Well, audience, we are here because we know that this weekend is Mother's Day weekend, and what other way to celebrate with the matriarchs of our family and I am just honored to have them here on today just to talk a little bit about Mother's Day and their you know just different things so call somebody let them know that my family is here on the show and we are just thanking our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the gift of the Holy Ghost that all of these lovely ladies are here and we are just grateful to be here on today Amen. 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 So let's let's talk for a little while. We are getting ready on Sunday. Um, and what I wanted the audience to really just get an opportunity to, I know that Mother's Day is a very special day for a lot of different people. We have a lot of different mothers um, that fall in different categories. So on today, I just want to talk to you and we're going to do some dialoguing and just share some things. Um, that I believe that um, our audience wants to talk about as they go into this great holiday season. And you know, we celebrate mothers not just on Sunday, but every day um, we are thankful to have mothers making a difference in the lives of other people. Yes. So let's, I know recently, um, you guys, we, we, we normally get together on holidays and, and Big Ma, as I affectionately call her, along with all her other grandchildren, um, is no longer with us, but her legacy lives on. So just want to start off with that, not as a sad note, but as a note of celebration. And I just want to get some feedback from each of you, just um, for those mothers that are no longer here, but the legacy continues with their um, children and their grandchildren. And so I just want to share, you know, maybe there's someone out there um, who really maybe looks at this time, you know, they're feeling a little down, they're feeling a little lonely, um, but I want you to give them encouragement because that's what we do here on Authentic Living. We want to help people to live their best life. And so what, I'm just going to go around, I'm going to start with Duchess. What would you say to a daughter who, you know, maybe this is her first Mother's Day without her mother, you know, what could you encourage her you know, in this time, so that it's not a sad occasion, but that the legacy continues. So look out up there at the audience and give someone a word of encouragement. What I would encourage you to do is to, there are so many uh, elderly that's there that, that need that love. And if you could think about the, just a time that you and your mom had together, there are some special times or a special mother day that you, probably bought an a, a awesome gift. Well, buy a gift for someone in a nursing home. or Buy a gift for somebody who is confined to a, a hospital or an aunt or uncle, your favorite, or any mother in the community. Just bless them by honoring. You can honor your mother that way. And, and, and just don't look at it as a sad, because I know my mom is actually up in heaven cooking and doing what she do. <laughs> So if you kind of think about that, she is really in a, in a good place and she's happy. And you could even make her more happier if you just do something for somebody else. Just share that love. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. So thank you for that tidbit. Um, with the legacy continue, we will talk to Aunt Gladys. And what would you say to a mother, um, a daughter who, 
you know, this is her first Mother's Day without her mother. Well, I have quite a few granddaughters that is having their first Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And it is a blessing to be a mother. When God assigns you that job, it's permanent. And it's love that you give them. And if you remember all the wonderful things that mother taught you, make sure you love God, have God in your life. And then to reiterate what my sister said, definitely go visit a mother in the nursing home. If you have a grandmother, or your own mother may be there, just don't do it on Mother's Day. Try to do it every day if you can. If you cannot, call her and make it twice a week if you can't do it twice a day. Do that with love because people need people and we are definitely interdependent. We need each other. We need love. You die of loneliness if you don't have love. And I'm telling you I know what I'm talking about. I miss my mother dearly. I do have my sisters and that sometimes they can talk to me about things I used to talk to my mother about. And we do remember her recipes, so treasure what yes. your mother teach you about bacon. Health, make sure that you stay healthy. Have a great Mother's Day, and I love you. Amen. 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 And yes, Auntie, what would you okay. say to a mother? Oh, what I would say to a mother or a daughter today, and just to piggyback on my, both of my sisters, it is to show that unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Just remember, if your mom is not with you, if your grandmother is not with you today, just remember the things that they taught you, remember the things that they left with you. And if there's family member that if you are separated, come together. And as I said, just not on Mother's Day. Just call them up and just tell them that you love them, that you miss them, that we as a family, we want to be in unity, mm -hmm. that we want to show that love. And this is what it is, love conquers all. Forget anything that has been said or done, and just open your arm and just love one another. And just to share this, that we lost our mother in 2008 and our father. Our father died uh, on the 14th of January of 2008, and our mother followed him four days later. So we lost both of our parents within four days. But they left a legacy with us that we would cherish all of our lives. Yes. And we would cherish it, not just with our family, but our extended family, to let people know that love conquers all. And we, we know that we are gonna see our parents Again, so I say all to you, I bid you a happy Mother's Day. Let not this be just on Sunday, but every day. Show your love to someone that needs love. Thank you so much. All right, well thank you ladies for those yeah. words and nuggets of encouragement. And just to all of you out there on today, I just wanna you know, just give hope to the different types of mothers. And I know that in Macon, Georgia, you have an opportunity to work with a lot of single moms um, that are head of households right now. And so one of the things that I wanna say to that single mom is to keep moving. Don't give up, don't be discouraged, but encouraged to be able to pray, to ask God for the strength that you need to do what you need to do for your children. And so when you think about some of the single moms that you deal with in Macon, Georgia, um, what do you think um, is one of the greatest joys um, with some of your moms? Because I know we can always talk about the statistics, we can always talk about the social economic backgrounds of low income families and some of the disadvantages that they have. Um, from being in that particular community, be it it um, the atmosphere, the drugs and crime rate, all of those things. But I know that there are many moms who rise above the statistics. So I know that you've had some success stories about those single moms. So what if you could give a shout out to those single moms that are trying um, 
you know, and sometimes it's difficult. It's hard. They feel like they're by themselves. But I know that you've given a lot of them words of encouragement to continue. So just to that single mom who is in the midst of a struggle, but on the other side of the struggle, there is victory. And don't you forget that. And so what would you say to that, that single mom? I would say to that single mom to keep investing in your child. I don't care what it looks like, you know, they may not be making the grades or, you know, they may be a knucklehead, you know, wearing the hair on the back of your neck. But like I, I talked to my mom, you have to invest in them. You got to believe in them. Yes. You got to pray over them. I mean, whatever it takes to save them, I don't want to hear, I can't, I don't, it's hard, they won't listen. And like I tell my moms, I don't care what you have to do, if you have to go and and, and pray and pull out everything in their, their room and, and, and cast the devil out in the name of Jesus. I ask them to do that. So I say to you, just stay the course, stay focused, and just don't take your eyes off of your child. Because even here, I am blessed to have this daughter and my son who, was, who gave another name to motherhood. But <laughs> I promise, you know, I can't give up on it. And I, I am, I am, I'm so happy to invest in him and know now that he is now the man of God that I knew that he could be. So I say to you, I've been there, done that, so I know without a doubt that you can do it. Just trust God with everything in you. Just trust him. Just trust him and just pray. Now that's that key. Just stay, you got to stay on your knees night and day you gotta fast whatever you need to do just do what you need to do amen, amen. so that just say you need to have a by any means by the necessary means. spirit that is in the lord and a spirit of excellence that for that single mother continue to pray and continue to invest and i like that word to invest because whatever you invest you need to learn how to expect a return on all that you put into your child all right so thank you for that contribution um, with you, um, Auntie, I know that you've been working with women in transition in the past. A lot of women who are mothers that may be at some point in their life, they uh, made some choices that misfortunes or poor choices that consequence of maybe losing their children and not being able to actually have that healthy relationship because of poor choices but I know that once they you know the programs that you previously worked with um, that you gave them those words of encouragement that you know where they started out does not really mean where they have to finish and so if you could look at that particular woman that mother who's in transition right now she's given birth um, she's made some poor choices um, but at the end of the day she's not where she wants to be, but she's still looking forward to going, you know, to a better place. What would you say to that mother that's in transition right now, who really feels like, you know, I don't know what to do and I made poor choices, you know, what word could you give to that mother that's in transition? Okay, to the mothers that are in that transition, and what I usually would say to the women is that, believe in yourself. Don't let anyone else define who you are. Learn to love yourself. When you love yourself, you won't let nobody or anything take you to a place that which God has not predestined for you. Stand, believe in yourself. And I always would tell the women, when you get up in the morning, learn to hug yourself and you do it this way <laughs> you learn to hug yourself and believe in yourself challenges will come but you will find the strength within you we are strong inward so when we find and realize the power that lies on the inside of individuals mm -hmm. you will uh, you will rise above any situation in your life and things will become authentic you won't believe in things that is not real so i say to all of you women believe in yourself love yourself and in order to love yourself you have to put god first 
He is your creator, not man. And if you do that, you will rise above any situation that comes before you. Thank you. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Yes, so women in transition, mothers in transition, you'll be what God has called you to be. Yes, so you yes. are a phenomenal woman. And as she said, what you, you don't have to look like what you've been through yes, because right. of who we serve. Yes. And so that is a blessing to a mother who's in transition mm -hmm. to have that hope to yes, live yes. an authentic life. Live an authentic Amen. life. Amen. Amen. And so Aunt Gladys, I turn to you for those mothers that have transitioned and they're really grandmothers being mothers again. So what would you say to that grandmother who, you know, is raising and rearing their grandchildren, grandchildren right now? You know, they've thought that, you know, my children are out of the house and I'm about <laughs> to live my life and I'm ready for this authentic life. And then they end up with their grandchildren. So what, what would you say to that grandmother who is, you know, thinking like, I've already done this and now, my house is full again. How, how would you help that grandmother? The word family comes to mind. The word community comes to mind. The word village comes to mind. If you just remember one thing, give back, volunteer, get them involved. When, because when they come back, you're gonna, have, you're gonna feel a little bit uh, overwhelmed because you've done this and all the cert you have mom again and your grandma but you still have to have responsibility for your family it, as i said you don't stop being a mom and it's the same way with grandma and great grandma <laughs> don't leave me out because i'm great grandma and there are times when i babysit great grandkids i take them with me we go to the nursing home we go to the library you can find places to go that doesn't call go to the duck pond you can find places and things to do that doesn't cost money because once you retire your income is not as much as it is for someone that's working every day. So you think of things that you can do mm -hmm. that's very educational. Zoo on Mondays. <laughs> Which free, is free and clean. All <laughs> the free stuff, free and everything. Free art, free culture, free summertime, free parks, free beaches. Take your kids and they own it. They don't need very much, just love. I no, promise no. you, just love. No. And always remember to give back to your community. That means help your church, help your nursing home, clean your yard, and clean <laughs> other people's yards. I clean everybody's yards if they didn't, they're not able to. We have to help each other. And, and if you do that, God smiles on you. And he will bless you. I promise you. Amen. Well, thank you for that wisdom for that grandmother and that great-grandmother, right. amen. <laughs> we thank all of you for joining us on Authentic yeah, right. Living you, and Happy Mother's Day yeah. to thank all you. of you. Thank you. And I want to send a special shout out to my Aunt Darlene Crawford who is in Macon, Georgia. I love you and today is my Aunt uh, Peronica's birthday. So I want to say happy birthday. She is a faithful viewer of Authentic Living and I want to send you much love. Remember to call my office at 216-481-5674 and you can find me on Sunday at Kingdom Keepers Church. I look forward to talking to you very soon. I love you. Remember to let somebody know that I have special guests in the house here yes. on Authentic Living. We love you and we'll be praying for you. God bless you and happy Mother's Day to all of you. God bless you. <laughs>